What's going on, man? How you doing? Welcome to Voices of a Nation, man. This is this is the first show that I'm going to do a series of show, and it's going to be discussing, you know, real life issues. You know what I'm saying? And I am going to going to introduce uh, videos and different things or different projects I'm going on. But this is just covering all different things that's going on in the world. There's so many things that's really important that's going on with the world today and um, <clears throat> but what one in particular that I want to touch bases on is the story about this um, David Davis the Ronald Davis story and you know I actually have been, I've been trying to follow up you know up on it more but to get to to get to the just of it, we have to understand that before we go bashing this homeless guy and bashing the homeless, we never think to look into how they got in that position. And I think it's realistic uh, for me to say, and it wouldn't be beneath me to say that, we all could end up in that situation in this era in time more than any in history, I think. And this is why I say that, because if you look at the uh, economic forecast, if you, you were able to, you know, view things and see legislation that's being passed, seeing these cuts that's being forced down through sequestration and uh, different things that this administration has been doing, you, you understand that it's crunch time. And you should been understand it's crunch time. If you pay uh, a majority of your own bills, if you're out on your own, if you, you pay rent, if you uh, pay for a car, if you do any kind of bill, you know that each dollar is getting squeezed and it's worth less and less as each day. We all know the process of inflation. We know that. We got that down. Let's check. But what I'm saying is we all could get in a predicament where we get laid off because now more than ever, layoff is, is like instantaneous. One day a company's up top, then the next is, is down, it's gone. They hand you pink slip, they hand you, they ain't hand you nothing. They just telling you, we come back and ask us questions. And they leave a number or they leave a, a thing saying close, you know, out of business. And then you have to fight for your last check. We, we live in those times, we live in those times where it's unpredictable and their, their stable jobs <laughs> are like very rare if any uh, when we know that once that happens when you hit that layoff bam they go to income now I know some of you say well there's unemployment well if you look at unemployment there's cuts to that too dramatic cuts there was one that just been passed by federal uh, sequestration that they cut the amount of benefits and in addition to that they cut the weeks so uh, they're, they're cutting the life support of people that get laid off through no fault of their own and they get laid off. So let's say that. Let's take into consideration. You lose that job. You're out looking. Now you're compounded by the problem that, problem that is real hard. The problem that is real hard now to even get another job. Yet alone get this job that match the lifestyle or the bills that you uh, accumulated up to that point. Now see, that's another thing that's really significant. People are like, uh, and, and I hear this all the time, it's like, well, there are jobs out there, true. And if you try hard, you could possibly get them if you try hard and push hard enough. And, and a lot of times in this uh, state of the world, it's who you know that gets you in a job now. but. Will it be that job that you had, or even be close to that income that you had? So you gotta look at that. If you got two cars or a car paid for, you got a family, you, you're used to having health insurance and, and all these different bills taken care of by that job. Now it's gone. Now you have to find another job. The job that you get to replace that job may be next to nothing in wages. So you're still behind till you get that job. Then when you get that job, you're not only playing catch up, but you still have to eliminate some of the resources you had before that. So it's real, it, it takes like nothing 
for an empire to fall. We know this. It takes years to build an empire. It takes years to build a family. It takes years to be to build a, a relationship. It takes years to build strong love. But it could all fall in seconds. It could all fall in minutes. You know. So um, during this downward spiral, any one of us could find ourselves if we didn't have family to depend on or that mom or dad to come back home to. We would be homeless too. There's a lot of us that's listening now that would be homeless and didn't have that friend. If they didn't have that other roommate. Or if they didn't have that other uh, family member that let them in. Oh, uh, you can stay here until you get on your feet. You know? And it, it, it's, real, it's really sad when you see people automatically reject. You know, uh, that's him, not me. So they, they demonize that person and say, oh, he's just a dirty bum, he's a scum of the earth, but look, any one of us now could end up in that situation. Any one of us realistically now, you know, could end up there. So if you checked out the other video, where me and uh, Bobby Diamond went down to uh, Ocean View, and we saw uh, the, a homeless guy there, gave him food, he, he gave him his jacket, and we want to we wanna donate to things like that. You could donate to Project 90s, and you could say um, to the homeless. You could you could donate by uh, getting a T-shirt. That not not only does that help with music resources here, but it helps for resources to get food and get help and and, and go uh, out to these people and deliver it. And I record it. I would record giving those different. Um, uh, resources to these people that are out scattered that really need that assistance and and there's no there's no catch to it there's no um, hidden contract there's no uh, there's no interest rate for those people it's just given out of the freeness of the heart there's nothing there's no strings attached absolutely you know strings attached and, and we got to understand that we all can be that person we all can be in that situation where we lose our job, we lose our home, and we're homeless. Don't take that long, I tell you. The spiral down is quick, deadly and quick. And uh, I guess what I want to do is have a call for people, a call back for humanity to actually say, you know what, we in this together no matter what. I don't care what anybody thinks. We in this together no matter what because for that person that owns a business, you have to have the customers to buy the product. So you still need the other people around you. I don't care how you think about it, but we all need each other. We all eat off of each other. If you break it down, if you, if you can go deep enough, if you can open your mind enough, you, you know that everything is give and take. You know, so once you, once we feel real, I think once we get to the universal thing of that, understand that we all in this together, and then uh, we can move together as a nation, but not divided as a Republican, Democrat, and uh, this and that. We understand that there are differences between us, but there are, is a universal connection, and that universal connection is that we are human, and that we all need each other to survive. Anyway, this your boy Zo, and you know, check out those shirts, check out those uh, videos, the video uh, with Bobby Diamond Project where we hand delivered food uh, and to the homeless, and also so beautiful video released Memorial Day. So I uh, want y'all to check that out, show your love, man, and um, until next time, man. This is Voices of a Nation, your boy Zoe. God bless y'all.